you know, in the New Testament, it said that, that they've received the things that the, you know, the old prophets have wanted to look into and they've desired to know, but they didn't get all of the information like the information that's been given in the New Testament to those uh, disciples and apostles. But here's one example of something that we have to look forward to. For those that love God, the, the goodness, the great goodness that God has laid up for them that fear thee. John 14, promise from Jesus, verse number 1 says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there ye may be also. So we have Jesus preparing a place for us. He says, my father's house has many mansions, and I'm going to prepare a place just for you. And, and how great is that goodness? Like Psalm 31 is saying, that God is laid up for them that fear thee. And keep that in mind also, that it's, you know, I mentioned this last week, how, you know, the God that we serve, while, while we ought to have reverence and fear for the Lord 100%, you know, he's a very loving God, and if, and if you don't understand that about God and, and have that, that right love and spirit and attitude of, of love from God, like, we, we're, not, we're not like, um, you know, don't mistake the reverence and fear of the Lord that we ought to have as, as you know, like, like, think about, like, the thought that comes to my mind is kids who have been just been abused like, like severely growing up and like just got massive beatings for the smallest infractions and how they're like, they have no joy in their life and they don't, they, they, they don't even know, you know, they can't even look the wrong way and they're, get, you know, and they're getting pounded on or whatever. Like, that's not God, right? That's, that's, not, that's completely ungodly and not how God is. The kids who are properly punished when they, you know when, when they when they do wrong and they need to get disciplined they get disciplined they those are the kids you see that have the joy in their life right and and that's more godly and more biblical and and more representative of who god is because be sure that just as much as you know kids who are being disciplined properly they, they have a fear of their parents they have a fear of 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 being punished and 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 receiving that but that's not like the only thought in their whole life is just like, man, I don't want, you know, like, I can't even make one wrong step or else I'm, um, you know, just going to get it again. We ought to remember as much fear and reverence and, and holy reverence we need to have for the Lord that He is merciful and long-suffering, and, and it, it's not something that you just have to live your life of just this total fear of like, oh, man, what you know. Now, if you're going to get into some wicked sins, yeah, you better have that kind of fear that God's going to come, you know, cloud up and rain on you. But just don't do those things. <laughs> You'll be fine. It's not like it's that hard to navigate, to not get into all kinds of, of horrible wickedness, right? 